Hey guys, M675 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Lego Set 75198 Tatooine Battle Pack, or as I like to call it, the Jawa Battle Pack. So, here's the set. Uh, unlike my previous reviews, I'm not going to do a full overview of the box, just because that seems kind of like a waste of time. The camera quality is good enough that you can see what is on the box on each side, so I'm just going to show you all the sides of the box, including this figure down here, which is a Tusken Raider. I will tell you about that, I guess. Nothing unusual about the box. This box is pretty standard now. And looking at the back, you can see this tab right here, which you punch in with your finger or you to open the box. So the box is very good looking. I like the box. Nothing really wrong with the box. It's a good size for a decently sized set as far as battle packs go. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Included in the set is the box, two bags of pieces, and the instruction manual. The set's instructions do come folded in the box like so, but outside of that there is nothing unusual about this particular set of instructions. the extra pieces that are included in this set and it appears to be a nice selection for a set of this size and it does give you some additional studs for your stud shooters as well as a couple other nice pieces just to have laying around in case you need them to build something else. So here are the three different minifigures included in this set. There are four minifigures in total. There are two Jawas but I'm only showing one up here. So now taking a look at these figures you got a Jawa on the left when it's facing forward, the Tusken Raiders in the middle, and there's an astromech droid on the right. So looking at these figures, they do look pretty standard, nothing particularly unusual about them. You can see some nice back printing on the Jawa and the Tusken Raider. The prints are pretty similar, but they are different prints. The prints look good, and I'm pretty happy with them. Then moving on to the front, you get to see the front prints. The Tusken Raider does have leg prints, which is pretty great. And also there are some prints on the astromech, but nothing unusual, no back printing on the astromech. Just pretty standard stuff. And then also we do have the stud shooter on the Jawa. We also got no alternate face on that Jawa. Which I was hoping there would be an alternate face, but I don't know what it would be. So obviously no alternate on the Tusken Raider because the Tusken Raider has its own molded headpiece. So it'd be kind of weird to have an alternate face on it. I really like this molded Tusken Raider headpiece. I think it looks a lot better than using a printed minifigure head like they used to use. And as you can see, that stud shooter is looking great. Works like a charm. No weapon stud shooter action here. Looks great. My one problem with the Jawa is it has a hard time standing up while holding the stud shooter, but that's fine. So now let's move on to the commentary about the set. Alright, so this is the vehicle included in the set. It's this kind of mini sand crawler looking vehicle. It's very nice and small and compact vehicle. It does have a couple different features on it, which I will show you now. The thing does roll around just on these Technic beam pieces. There aren't any wheels or anything, so it just rolls around on those. Works pretty well, considering that the bottom of these pieces are flat. So, that is a decent feature that I didn't think I'd be seeing on this, but I guess we are. So this front part right here is where you can seat your Jawa, and your Jawa will just go on there like that, and just sits on there. Looks pretty great. You do have the stud shooters on the front of this as well, which if you just press on the side, you can shoot those off. Try not to lose those. There, now I have found both of them. And then just reload stud shooters. If you don't know this, you just 
push the stud back onto the front like so and like that. So the stud shooters work great, no complaints there outside of losing the studs. Then back here you do have these tool spots where you can put the wrench in the sort of hammer that the set comes with. Nothing unusual here. And you also are given this robot arm sort of contraption which you can rotate and move to pick things up and this is why they give you the astromech droid in the set so that you can kind of come up to that pick it up like this and then you can grab it rotate around and then place it back on there and then you can remove the arm if you want to so that's what you're meant to do with that so then your Jawas can go and take this back to their sand crawler and can sell it to whoever wants to buy it so that is it for my overview of the vehicle and now let's move on to my conclusion and opinions about this set alright so now that we have seen the entire set it's time to talk about what I think is good about this set what I think is bad about this set and if I think you should buy one or not so this is a $15 retail set it is one of the battle packs that has come out this year already and it is a, it's a decent battle pack you know it's a Tatooine battle pack I don't know why you'd need a Tatooine battle pack but it's, it doesn't have any characters you can't get duplicates of so it, it does great in the battle pack regard it does have some nice figures with the two Jawas as well as the Tusken Raider the astromech droid is just kinda meh but you need it for the play features at least and the vehicle doesn't really have any big problems it does what it needs to do and it looks pretty decent doing it so overall I think this is a pretty decent set however it is kind of held back a bit by the fact that you do not have capes on these Jawas I would have loved to see capes on them and also that this is just kind of a weird vehicle I don't know it doesn't really have a place in most armies as well as showing some 1x2 sand green plates and you can kinda of see those so besides the fact that you don't really need an army of Jawas around this is a pretty great set and which should you buy it yeah sure if you want the figures in this set go for it I definitely would recommend this set to anyone who's looking to pick up some figures for a Tatooine mock or just wants to get some Jawas or Tusken Raider to have in their collection so overall I think this is a pretty good battle pack you know the parts per piece might not be there at 97 but the figures are definitely decent and that's ideally why you would buy the set so that is it for my review of 75198 Tatooine Battle Pack. I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you like this review, leave a like. And if you don't like this review, leave me a dislike and let me know why you don't like it in the comment section below so that I can improve upon my reviews in the future. So let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.